Pyramithra into We Fit Trainer. So, traditionally, uh, I would assume that Pyramithra kind of dumps on We Fit Trainer. This matchup seems kind of egregious. Uh, they're fast as hell. They got great combos. They got a sword. Things, all things We Fit hates. But that said, Oolong makes every matchup seem kind of good for We Fit somehow. Oh! Alright, so that was kind of disgusting. Um, I don't really feel like he did anything particularly interesting in terms of, like, he didn't think that, like, that, he didn't plan that out, but he had such good reactions to where Seagull was going to be. That was nasty. And Oolong's going to take that to the bank. Uh, but, you know, Seagull Joe retaliating right back. He said, you're going to air dodge and land right here? I'm just going to catch it with an F smash. Uh, it worked. Uh, the Oolong patented up tilt going to come out, but Seagull jumping over it. Not going to get caught. He's, that broke shield because of deep breathing. Up smash? Not yet. Knows that it's not gonna kill, so just going for the up tilt. That's fine. His name. I can't believe he just broke his shield though. That's crazy. Weefit doesn't even have real shield breaks at all. We are playing neutral rounds. Alright, so, uh, you know. Eagle basically just looking to box and weep it out. Never let her in. He can keep her at the ledge at all times. Uh, that'd be a successful bubble for him. Ooh, roll, weep its roll is one of the longest in the game. Especially from ledge there. Just barely gonna be space. That, 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 that he's just gonna have to overshoot to catch Eagle. Ooh, good catch. Up, to, up there, not gonna work. Still in the corner, still struggling. That dash attack won't kill yet. Well, I'm gonna let him get back to ledge. But it's not even gonna matter. Fourth throw, not gonna kill quite yet. Alright, re grab. Down tilt will kill. Great stuff from Ulong, good recognition. And, uh, okay, I was about to say that was the, the fastest retaliation ever again, but it didn't happen. We're cool. Kill it. Is this work better? Okay. Hmm? This is game one. Oolong hit the nastiest combo in the first block. He was at 20% and um, Seagull blocked the ball, but it bounced back, hit him. Off stage, Oolong insta dare, dead. Ooh, yeah, sad I missed that. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people, you always forget about the ball still having a hitbox. Yeah. Like, everyone gets hit by that. Everybody so. gets hit by it. And Oolong's super good at the awareness, too. He's like, alright, you're gonna get hit, so you should be ready for the combo. Yeah, I mean, interesting that we're seeing this Pyramithra pick come out from Seagull Joe. Like, it's something he's been experimenting more with recently. Um, so, the, part of the reason he's doing it, and I don't know the whole reason why he just is like a kitty, for instance. Um, well, there's a forward air taking game one. Oolong has some of the most Palutena experience in the region. Uh, there's a Palutena by the name of Oolong down in South Maryland. Yep. They used to play, like, weekly, and now, like, Oolong's favorite matchup in the game. Um, yeah. at SmashCon, he took out... He did lose to one Palu, and it's with the craziest thing I've ever seen. He was destroying him the entire game, and the Palu hit a dare through stage on Hollow Bastion. There was literally, like, a pixel of the dare that could have hit him, and he, oh, hit, wow. he hit it. That's wild. Um, but now he took out another Wii Fit on his way, on his crazy illusion run. Um, like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think to make it out of round two holes, I think he beat that power. Uh, so, I mean, like, Oolong is no slouch in the matchup. And then also you have people like Nick District also being players, like, uh, I think he beat uh, Jen, or... Not um, the Wii does just do very well in that match. Well, I think part of the reason we're seeing a different character is that I'm looking at him now. He has a nine of one record against him. Yeah, no, it's Which bad. Which is, yeah, wow. Like, that's... Usually when you're at the, um... On those, like, you know, mid to high level PR, you know, like, those it's head like heads are usually, like, pretty even. Yeah. So yeah. I'm surprised to see it be bad. Um, so, I'm gonna tell you the one reason why Palutena loses to Weefit, and I think it's pretty much uncontested in the best you could ever argue is even, and that's because Weefit can basically crouch over everything Palutena can. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. That low crouch and the crawl as well, being able to yep. move around while you're crouching. Grab will miss, dash attack sometimes whiffs, I don't know why. And then, like, bear and stuff can be really hard to hit. 
Yeah, so Ulong trying to get his 10th win over Seagull, but this, uh, this Pyramid is pretty good in this game, too. Just kind of, uh, Nair sending you up. Not really something you can do for your edge guarding there. He did use the Pyramid through against ZD. It didn't really do that well. He got a game on the pit. <laughs> okay. He got yeah. two games on the pit, actually. My bad. And then he All got right. cooked by the wolf. Ah, uh, I see how it goes. Uh, I mean, Seagull and ZD have played so many times. At that point, that's barely a character. I think it's just player knowledge. So what makes me kind of mad is that Seagull wins neutral enough with this character to just win against all the players he plays, but he doesn't combo with Mithra. Yeah. So then I'm like, okay. I feel like if you spent like, I don't know, like a day just running combos, you just start knowing everything. Yeah, now the faster startup of that back air, right along with the tank, is stock. Oh, that's where about even was had some trouble with the stock. He's staying Pyra. It's just not really funny at all. Yeah, I see his pyro is like kind of slow, very like extra slow, and I feel like he often doesn't really look for like, you know, he doesn't really fish for any like kill confirm combos, he's kind of just trying to get you a straight move. Which is fine, but like it also leads to these weird situations where even at 144, you're living against pyro. Yeah, it feels like there's definitely a rhythm to his attacks here. He's got to find some sort of mix up, find like some sort of call out on Red Wolf. Yep, pick it up there. Let's just give me up throw. I'm guessing he's just looking to like mix up the Nakia uh, 74 and get stale. I think another aspect of it is you're not really going to be able to like catch beef it off stage, so you might as well go for a jump. Like, that True. might be a more advantageous position. Yeah, especially as this character, you're basically all like that. You're never really going to get hurt. You get real lazy. Back to Mithra, I feel like, yeah, at this point you can start looking for. Yeah, but I mean, he's just kind of throwing out kill moves. Just kind of running out, throwing that smash out. But no not going to run into that. Mithra is secretly one of the most degenerate players on this character. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the Pyro, looking for a ledge trap, but he just cashes out on the plays again and means that he can't cover any other option. Chase down. Oh, I love that. Uh, they didn't cover the air dodge, but they just covered everything. Yeah, so you go finally taking that stock with that up air. The, like the one time that Red Wolog overextended a little bit, like he finally got the kill. But otherwise, it always just looked like very safe. There's a little bit of combo here. Yeah, he needs to be doing that. <laughs> He yeah, could have also, I think, finished it with up beat, but even still, like, and he's normally getting 25 when he could be getting at least 40. Right, because the choice there is either to cash out on the up beat and just take your damage, or to just, like, try and keep him in a jump. But he tried to keep him in a jump, but it just didn't really work out for him. has got a real slippery disadvantage for him. He does. There's that forward air, just catching the drop shield. A great yeah. effort right there, double jump into, like, an ending there, like, very strange, like, not to do with the old steel hole. Yeah, I feel like Red Wolong is all about the tempo changes. Like, whatever character he's playing, so he'll just, like, delay for just, like, a second, and that's how he gives I also think people are, like, kind of bad at the traffic. There are a lot of ways to do it on Hollow Bash. Yeah, a lot of Bash don't, like, don't expect a lot of games to But if you sit on the plat, ooh, that's just gonna miss the Yeah, unfortunate SD, kind of an unforced error there. Oh, what was I say? If you just sit on the platform on, like, MS2 or Battlefield, and just wait. There's right, like basically nothing not, Weefit can actually do to deal with that. You're not at the threat of the side B or the neutral. But that said, I mean, Nashville, you know, similar idea, smaller stage. I think he's just trying to look to scrap Stop Weefit. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the, the stage pick is less about uh, scrapping, more about just like, let's just have as little space as possible. Like, now that we're also not on the stage, I wasn't going to mention this in case of trying to influence they can definitely hear some of what we're saying. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, Wulong's like favorite stage is Hollow Bash. Wow. Ah, <laughs> interesting. So, I mean, if your favorite stage is Hollow Bash, then I can't imagine the two matches. People also just don't know the way he matches. This match is just like very hard. It's so. strange. It's weird here. So that was just there. Oh, extending it with the bounce on the. Uh, Wulong always says this. He only can't when people make it. It's just like AOS for real. Um, but. I mean, like, you can see it here, there's shades of him being really aggressive and, like, running at you and getting chasing you down, and then they go back to being okay, but more. Yeah, yeah percent's just about even, uh, Seagull getting the bounce out. He's continuing to struggle, like, having less space for Oolong to run away from him is working out pretty well. Do you have any catches? Uh, able to make his way back with the side beat. A very punishable option, but if you catch the opponent unaware, like that side you can just like the hitbox of it is like it goes through. Z D was when Z D was punishing it, oh my god, it looks like the worst move in the game. Yeah. It's <laughs> not great, like you never want to have to 
outside. It's a good mix up though at the end of the day. If you're not ready for it or like you're not like used to the counter play, it definitely can just get you back. The trouble is just that even though it is a good mix up, it has so much startup it usually can be reacted to. So that kind of defeats the purpose. It's more like if you catch them in like Oh, we got deep breathing. Not really gonna, not really gonna influence. Much. Yeah, that up there was gonna kill either way. Lugia was talking about this earlier. He said, uh, "You want self proclaimed the best up there." Uh, yeah, I believe it. That was. Kind of I believe it too. It was clean. It's kind of an unorthodox move, but yeah, you can take some of it. Yeah, Seagull just kind of selling out on the ground. Yeah, kill the time. Work out for him. I feel like this bat matchup should be so egregious. We fit like mid throw versus we fit sound like how do you how do you deal with it? She can like deal with all of your projectiles, she's got the speed and the just makes it work. Yeah, I mean he's keeping he's got a range that's like unlocked. Running off stage, she got this way back. Also really interesting, the long mechanic option is like shield in place or crap. Just like really uncontrolled. Yeah, crouch as a mana gun. It's like in that situation, even if your crouch gets it, like you don't take as much knockback yeah. as you normally would, so you can still like catch people off guard or maybe survive something you weren't supposed to. Oh, that was a sick, uh, it was, yeah, really nice angle. Eagle had the read on the movement there, he was like, you're gonna not to get launch it. Just on the I don't think this game's very easy. Yeah, I mean, seagull has been able to find some adaptation. Now the question can, is, can he actually stop? Because yes. that's been the issue. Like he's keeping the percentage close, and then yeah, I don't really know what he's looking for on that up smash. Fingertips. Right along, up. You know what pose that is? The up tilt? Uh, I have no clue. Dang. I don't do either. I know like all the other ones, but don't know that one. Up smash not quite safe now. Not gonna get the dare. The yeah. situation with Pyro though is kind of terrifying. Yeah, it's a scary spot to be, but I mean, traditionally we fit very good. Yeah, right red along. That's the place where he's never gonna feel that. Much. So back here, oh, he was going for. He was trying to end the set. That was mad close too. Uh, get on Seagull though, they recognize that he's like swing. Yeah, I like the idea, but Seagull's Shark King is just go ahead and validate it. We are playing neutral. We fit with deep breathing is like just as fast as the best character. We fit deep breathing has some great progress. Such an unorthodox character. Like so. Like people just do not know how to do it. <laughs> That's what I want to see Ulan win this simply because I want to see Ulan play AOS. Ah, yeah. That would be interesting. I mean. Right now, yeah, he's got a percent lead. This remake is racking up a lot of damage right now. Good jump from the Yeah, fights his way back on. Feels like these plays against have really not done much for him. So sad. Like, right he does, yeah, I feel like when he throws them out, they're just like a leather, a little bit off timing or like they're kind of desperation. Oh, and there's the up air that's we'll gonna do seal it, it out. Red Mulan pushing his single record attempt. Well, now the AOS is working with a strong base. Yes, it is. I mean, I'm curious if Mulan's gonna go we fit. I mean, ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think he's definitely. So in the middle of that seven, I was talking about the counterplay and ledge to Weefit. You want to like turn around? He's like, hey, relax. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, being this close to the players definitely causes. I was like, I don't think Seagull's gonna be able to really change much there, but like, I just thought it was super. Not every character.